It's 2011 in Wapalo County, Iowa. Try as she might, newlywed police officer Lisa Tackle just can't end a toward love affair with her co-worker Jason. For now, her husband Seth is none the wiser. That's because he's too distracted by a workplace romance of his own with his co-worker Rachel. The attraction between Seth and Rachel is uncontrollable. And while their daytime flirtation seems innocent enough, by night, Rachel and Seth are fanning the flames of desire with increasingly explicit messages. One message that Seth Teckel sent Rachel, for example, said, uh, I had a dream about you, very sexy, and went on to talk about his physical reaction to this dream. There were um, like sexually explicit content to each other, talking about how much they wanted to do things to each other. And there were even some pictures, her and her bathing suit, a couple of them topless, and he with his pants down and his, basically his penis showing. But just when it seems inevitable that Seth and Rachel will make their online fantasies an offline reality, yeah. Rachel's boyfriend, Drew, discovers Rachel and Seth's provocative exchanges, and he's not happy about it. Drew um, found uh, that communication I was upset with Rachel. What is this? I don't know. What are you looking at? You went through my mail. Who the hell is this guy, Seth? They're just messages with the guy, Seth, that I work with. He's been coming on to me, and I just, I was just flirting back to be nice. Rachel claims that Seth means nothing to her. Rachel told him that she would stop. Maybe they don't mean anything. I... Hey, I won't do this anymore. I promise you have my word. This is it. I'm so sorry, baby. <laughs> and Drew took her word for it, and their relationship continued. But cutting Seth off is easier said than done, because despite what she's telling Drew, her true feelings for Seth are undeniable. Is she willing to risk everything she has with Drew for an uncertain future with Seth? Seth is so consumed with desire for Rachel that he doesn't even notice that his own wife is drifting away from him. Because far from winding down, Lisa's affair with Jason is heating up. The relationship progressed to having sex two or three times a week outside of work. And what started out as something purely physical is turning into something more. Lisa and Jason are falling for each other. There's no doubt that he was emotionally invested in, in Lisa. On top of their being colleagues, they were all also intimate lovers. But they're walking a dangerous line. Are they really ready to rip apart their families for one another? The decision may soon be out of their hands because Lisa and Jason are about to discover that one night of passion will change their lives forever.